Exploring the Thermodynamics of a Rubber Band Objective This work aims to describe the thermodynamics of a rubber band. To describe the thermodynamics of a rubber band mathematically, the equation du which is equal to dq plus dw plus the summation of mu i dni is used, wherein u is the internal energy, q is the heat capacity, W is the work done into the system, mu I is the chemical potential, and I is the number of moles involved in the system. DQ is defined as TDS, wherein DW is defined as tau DL minus PDV, where tau is the tension applied on the system and V and I are constants throughout the system. PDV and summation of mu i dni will roughly turn to zero. Q is equal to TDS plus tau dl. To further discuss the thermodynamics of a rubber band, the free energy, entropy, and internal energy. In order to get du, du is equal to TDS plus tau dl. In this equation, in a it implies that the system requires constant entropy and length. To observe constant entropy, we need to observe the system microscopically. In addition, mechanical measurement of entropy is difficult and is impossible since no instrument that can measure such. The Maxwell relation relates these parameters, which cannot be determined mechanically, to parameters that can be determined mechanically, such as length, temperature, pressure, and force. Df is equal to negative SDT plus tau dl. Now, in this equation, the Df can be determined under constant temperature and length. At constant temperature, entropy will roughly approach zero. So the equation turns Df is equal to tau dl. This equation will be used in the first part of the experimentation. Now, let's proceed to experimentation. The first part of this experimentation is to determine the free energy or the, del the delta F. DF mathematically is SDT plus tau DL. Uh, this equation implies that we have to measure the entropy at a changing temperature and the tension under changing length. Now, it is quite difficult since we cannot determine, we, we may not measure, we cannot measure entropy. And if we set temperature as constant, this expression, this term, SDT, will roughly turn to zero. In this part, the authors used two constant temperatures, 67 degrees Celsius and 1.4 degrees Celsius. And this leaves this equation. Df is equal to tau dl. Tension readings were obtained at different lengths from the shortest length, 24.5 cm, to the longest length, 38.8 cm, and returning again to the shortest length. Now, uh... Going back, what we what the researchers did is to stretch the rubber band, is to stretch the rubber band, and at certain length, they get the temperature. After stretching the rubber band, the rubber band goes to its original to its original length, and upon going to its original length. The temperature readings was recorded. This are the data. This are the gathered data represented by a graph. The solid line represents the stretching of the rubber band, and the dashed line represents the relaxation of the rubber band. Well, the red color signifies that those data, these data, are under 67 degrees Celsius, and the black ones are under. 1.4 degrees Celsius. This graph shows that a change in length, an increase in length, will result to an increase in tension. 
in addition, this also shows that a higher temperature will give a higher tension. Now, going back to this, if we know the tension at changing a changing length, we know the DF of a system. Now we know the free energy. How about the entropy of a system? The max, the expression on Maxwell relation, du is equal to s dt plus tau dl. When when Maxwell relation is applied to this equation, a relationship will arise. This will be the relationship. A negative entropy can be measured by this. A change in tension at the change. A change in tension with respect to a change in temperature at constant length. At constant length. Okay. Now, data gathered was represented by a graph. This shows, again, that as the temperature increases, this shows that as the temperature increases, the tension also increases. And moreover, this graph shows that a greater stretch in the rubber band results to a greater tension. Now, going back to this, as the slope at each length, the slope, this is the slope, this is the slope of each length, will give ds, which is the entropy. The linearity of change in tension against change in temperature can be observed. The slopes of each isolines represents ds over dl at constant temperature. Again, it is evident that an increase in length results to an increase in tension. Also, the dashed lines shows errors which perhaps from hysteresis of the rubber band. The entropy of the system is described as ds over dl at, chain, at constant temperature. In order to get entropy, delta s, we plot ds over dl at constant temperature against their corresponding con constant length. Now, plotting, extrapolating of x, the length, and its corresponding negative ds over dl as the y gives you the entropy of the system which is the slope in this and ultimately since we got since we got the delta f and the delta s ultimately to obtain du we use equation du is equal to tds plus tau dl is equal is which is also equal to tds since this one and this one are the same plus delta f again du is equal to tds plus delta f the termination of du at an isothermal stretch of the rubber band of 14 centimeters at 30 degrees celsius has the potentials t delta s is equal to negative 0.09 if the, the free energy is equal to 0 0.22, the summation of this of these parameters is the du, then we get du is equal to 0 0.13 joules. Now, the negative sign here implies that the system or, or the reaction happening in the system is, again, the reaction happening in the system is spontaneous. Now, we got the du, the ds, and the df. In conclusion, an increase in temperature will yield an increase in tension. An increase in length will yield an increase in tension. And the negative entropy implies that the reaction is spontaneous. In the case of the rubber band, as it is being stretched, the negative delta s rises. It increases, which means that the particles come in order. That's all. Thank you.
And this is interpretation of the study exploring the thermodynamics of a rubber band by David Rondi and Michael Rogers. It's presented by Bulaong Jennifer M. and Cabrera Crystal Anno. Thank you very much.